Hello guys and welcome to another video in the series of Linux tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about BC calculator. So let's begin. BC command provides us rich features for mathematical calculation. To initiate it, you can simply write BC. Now you can write here any expression. For instance, we can write here 89 plus 45. Similarly, you can use any other operator. For instance, we can use here minus and asterisk for multiplication division we can use the slash and for finding the modulus we can use mod so mod is basically used when you want to find out what will be the remainder for instance if i'm dividing the 12 by 11 then at the remainder it will be 1 and if you want to calculate the power then you can write here 12 then give the zor and then you can give the number for instance this is 12 to the power 2 okay which will give me 144 now you can also create the variables here for instance i can write here a equals to 78 after that i can process any expression for instance i can write here a plus 89 so it will give me 78 plus 89 similarly we can create multiple variables for instance b equals to 98 and then i can do a minus b okay other than these arithmetic operators we can also use the relational operators logical operators, assignment operator and increment and decrement operators. For instance, I can write here a greater than 4. Okay. So this particular thing is our relational operator. So whether the a is greater than 4 or not, if it is true, then it will give us 1 and if it is false, then it will give us 0. So currently the value of a is 78. So if I do here, it will give me Similarly, if I change it with the less than, then it will give me 0. So whenever we are talking about the true, it will be treated as 1 and for false, it will be 0. Similarly, you can use increment or decrement operator. For instance, currently the value of a is 78 and I can write here plus plus a. Okay. So it will first increment the value of a and then print it. Okay. So now the value of a has become 79. But if I'm doing the post increment, then the value of a will be printed first and then it will be incremented. So first, if I do here enter, then it will give me 79. But now the value has been changed. So now it will give me 18. Okay. Now logical operators can also be used. For instance, I can write here a and and 4. Okay. So non-zero values are treated as true so if i press enter it will give me one okay similarly if i do here zero then means true and end of false which will be false right so if i press enter it will give me false that is zero we can also use assignment operators for instance currently value of a is 80 so i can assign the value for instance a plus equals to and then i will write here two okay so now the value of a will be 82 now we have a one pseudo statement that is the last which tell us the most recent value for instance currently that value is 82 so if i press enter you will see it is printing us 82 right so we can also perform some operation for instance last plus 4 so it will give me 86 and also the value of last now will be 86 right in any case if you want to close it then you have to press the control d okay now let's clear it now bc commands also support this maths library to load those library you have to open the bc with dash l option okay now if you want to run let's say the sine function then you can write here s that stand for the sine and then here you have to define something in radian so i can give here one so it will give me a equivalent value of sine of radian one similarly if you want to find out the cosine then you can write here c and give here any value remember that these values should be in the radian after that you can also use the logarithmic function for that you can write here l and give here any value for instance 23 if you want to find out the exponential function then you can write here e and if you want to give some power for instance e to the power 2 then you can write here 2 okay so it will give the equivalent value you can also use sqrt function which is used to find the square root and i can give here any value so it will give me output as 4 another function that can be used that is the length and in that case inside it you write the digit for instance i can write here 1 2 3 4 5 it will tell us how many digits are present in this line or in this statement so if i press enter it will give me 5 similarly i can write here sqrt and i'll give here 16 so it will tell me total number of digits that we get after performing this operation okay so after performing this we were getting this as an output and it has total 21 of 
digits right if you see here the total number of digits after the dot are high if you want to lower it then you can set here scale equals to let's say 2 okay if i again write the command square root of 16 it will only give me 4.00 because now i had set the scale to 2 similarly if i am using any function for instance sign then it will only give me the 0.84 okay so after decimal only two values will be shown now one thing to notice here is that everything that we are doing has the base of 10 okay but what about the hexadecimal numbers and binary numbers so for that let me first clear it now we use the i base and o base pseudo vary pseudo statements that can be used for changing what sort of input you want to take and in what base of output you want to view for instance currently o base is set to the 10 now let's say i want to view the output in the hexadecimal format for that i can set the o base to 16 now if i do here let's say 142 in the output it will show me the equivalent in hexadecimal format similarly if i perform any operation for instance 142 plus 89 then it will give me output in the hexadecimal format right similarly i can set o base to binary so for binary i'll write here 2 okay so now if i do here let's say 12 it will give me the binary equivalent of 12 similarly if i perform any operation for instance 12 plus 89 then it will give me binary equivalent as an output right now currently it was taking input with the base of 10 that was the decimal numbers if you want to take give the input as a binary then you can change the i base to 2 okay so now let's say i'll write here 1101 so it will give me the same output because the output has been set to the 2 okay but i'll set the i base to let's say 16 so now i will give the input also in the hexadecimal format a plus d and it will give me output in the binary equivalent so i base and o base are used when you want to change the base of the numbers that you want to use for input or for output right now other than these there are some couple of programming feature that can also be used with the bc for instance you can use the if else for instance i'll write here a and then i'll write here if then in the parenthesis i'll write here any expression for instance i can write here a is smaller than 45 okay then if it is smaller than 45 then i want to perform the operation for instance a plus 90 and if you want to perform more operation then you can use here semicolon okay and also the 78 plus 9 okay and if it is not that is if else then i want to perform let's say a minus 100 okay only this so if i press enter you will see it is performing this operation why because the a is not less than 45 for the same thing if i write here a equal equal 45 then you will see it first perform this operation and after that it perform this operation and the output is shown accordingly right you can also write some statements here for instance i can write here b equals to a plus 89 and here i will write c equals to 78 plus 9 okay in that case it will not print me anything but now the values has been assigned to the b and also in the c right now you can also use the for loop and while loop for instance i can write here for i'll write here i equals to 1 then i'll set the condition for instance i less than 5 and i'll write here i plus plus okay and what i want to do i only want to print the i plus 100 okay so what will happen with this loop first of all i will be assigned to the value of 1 then it will be checked that whether i is less than 5 or not so it will be less than 5 so it will go to the execution part that says i plus 100 so it will print us 101 okay then it will go to the increment part that is i plus plus so it will increment the value by 1 so i will become 2 okay again it will check the condition that is 2 is less than 5 the condition will be true and then it will again execute the line so in that case it will print me 102 then it will again increment okay i will become 3 again it will do comparison if it is true then it will execute it like this it will keep on executing until unless this condition becomes false okay so if i press enter you will see it will give me input output as 101 2 3 4 okay when i will become 5 then this condition is becoming false okay in that case our loop is breaking right similar to that you can also use the while loop so i can write here let's say uh, currently if you see the value of i it is set to 5 okay 
so i can write here something let's say i less than 10 and i'll write here let's say i plus 200 okay and also i have to do increment the value okay so what will happen first it will check that whether i is less than 10 10 or not if it is less than 10 then it will execute this line so it will print us 201 or sorry 205 then it will increment the value of i so i will become 6 right similarly then it will again check that the 6 is less than 10 or not then if it is true then here it will again execute it then it will become 206 and then it will again uh, increment the value okay so if i press enter you will see accordingly it is giving us the output now along with that you can also use the functions in the bc so i'll write here bc dash l and now to define any function you can write here define and then the name of the function for instance fun okay and then you can give here some parameters for instance i'll give here pair one okay and pair two right and then the body so for instance i can only only want to do pair one plus pair two now this function can be used anywhere for instance i can call it here with the values let's say 44 comma 32 okay so this function is going to perform this statement that is pair 1 plus pair 2 so it will give me the output accordingly so first our function fun take these values and then execute this expression okay so the output of this expression was 79 and after that our function needs to return something also so by default if we are not using the return keyword then it will return as the zero okay so for instance if i write here let's say fun 2 then i can also return here something let's say return 5 okay so now if i press enter and do here fun of 2 and give here some value for instance 22 comma 66 then you will see in the return part it is returning us 5 okay now other than return you can also use some other pseudo statement for instance you can use the break or you can use the continue or you can use the quit okay now these are widely used in many programming languages but bc in its own also support these functionalities now one last thing is that the bc command can also take the input from the output of another command for instance i can write here echo and then i can give here let's say a equals to a plus 10 and then i want to perform a plus 78 okay so currently if i press enter you will see this is giving me this is the output of this command and now i will put it to the bc itself okay so it will give me the equivalent output right so firstly what it did it did a equals to a plus 10 now previously a was not defined so the default value of any variable is set to the zero okay so a was becoming the 10 here and then it was performing the operation a plus 78 which was resulting to the output as 88 okay similarly if you want to give any other operations like let's say i also want to perform if statement so i can write here let's say if and then i'll write here some expression for instance a is less than 10 then i want to perform an operation that is let's say a plus 100 okay that's all and i'll write here bc it is giving me nothing because a is not less than 10 but i'll now i will make a a value as 1 then you will see it will give me the equivalent solution now this thing you can also put in some particular file for instance let me clear it and i'll open a file let's say operation oper and i'll write here a equals to 1 and then i will do let's say a plus plus and then i will perform a dash 2 okay so let's say these are the three things that i want to do you can also create the if else looping and functions so now i will save it and what i will do i'll write here bc and then give the oper okay so accordingly it is giving me the output right now if you if you don't want to see this particular line that is the bc 1.01 and the info warranty information then you can open it with the dash q option okay so now in that case it will only give me the output right now i have to press ctrl d but if you want to make ctrl d within here then you can write here quit so as soon as we'll hit this pseudo statement this will be terminated okay so now if i again do it pc dash q oper then you will see after one one i am not pressing additionally any 
control d t okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video